Resistance, episode six. Signal from Sector Six. That's a tongue twister. Try and say that three times fast. But how am I gonna get in that? Are jump. We gonna they taught you how to air jump in the New Republic Navy, right? New yeah, Republic in theory. Navy. I've never actually done it. Well, time to put that theory into practice. CB twenty three, keep it steady. <laughs> Come on, buddy, come on. Oh, gosh. Uh, uh, BB-8's gonna push him out! Uh, <laughs> that wasn't so bad. Oh, you'd rather be flying with Poe. Nice. Wouldn't everybody no, rather be flying with Poe? Let's be honest. Alright. It's always a plus when there's X-Wings. Your report said he was going to make a deal with the First Order? <laughs> a couple of hot shots flying through an asteroid field. Let me show I you feel the say. need for Back speed! Woo! See what I did there? Adjust the stabilizers, engage the throttle, and pull back on the stick. And the way, okay, okay, this, this I get, this I get. The way Poe is moving with a reverse grip on the, on the uh, flashlight and then the, the sidearm in front, that's the way that uh, cops are, like, usually enter a room. Good, good research on the maneuvers there, that's nice. That was a cage for something, okay. Now, stuck up, CB-23. BB-8 is just trying to be helpful. Whoa, a monster. It ate those pirates. Better them than us. <laughs> Face hugger. <laughs> this has got lost in space vibes. Kind of campy and funny. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Just going and mocking with the given evil laughs. <laughs> that is so funny. Hey, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm weird, but I think Koiki and Monkey Lizards are funny. <laughs> Look, who is she? I Whoa! If she's part of the transport crew. Sleeping Beauty. She locked herself in here to escape that thing. <laughs> Just another Monkey Lizard. No, what are you talking about? Me neither. It uh, looks well fed. Oh. Holy crap, it's a giant monkey lizard? How big do those things get? Is it one of those cases where you have the small ones for a pet and then they get too big to handle? That's disturbing. How many steroids did that thing take? <laughs> Time to get off the Okay, how did they shove Okay, question. Whose lap is she sitting in? Oh, okay. He's got a backseat all of a sudden. Why do I get a bad feeling about her? Looks like your friend. Somebody who's not a damsel in distress. Yeah. Sonara, where is everyone? I sent you in to steal that freight. That's what I thought. Devoured your pirates, Kragen. Except me. I am the only one who survived that mess. Welcome to another review of the animated series Resistance. Moving on, I'm reviewing episode 6, Signal from Sector 6. This one, I have to say, is my favorite so far. For one thing, Poe came back, and that's always a plus. Uh, you guys probably know, I am like Poe fangirl. Not quite as hardcore as... I am a Luke fangirl, but I absolutely love Poe. And whenever he shows up, it's always a plus. And Oscar Isaac is definitely the best voice actor in this group. This episode was quite a bit of fun. It was like, of course, ridiculous like most are, but I liked it because the blabbermouth Niku was not really in it. I mean, <laughs> except for the very beginning where everyone's out like a light. Um... And, uh, this one, I think, might have been 
released close to Halloween because it has sort of a creepy vibe, but it just ends up being funny. <laughs> There's a bunch of monsters loose in this pirate ship and one sole survivor. And apparently these monsters are a whole pack of Kawakian monkey lizards, including one that looks like he's been on steroids. Kind of a uh, Godzilla moment. But, hey, it had Poe, and it was more fun than most of the other episodes, and also funny, at least to me. I think Kawakian monkey lizards are hysterical. <laughs> the whole episode... The whole thing was like a mashup between Looney Tunes, Lost in Space, and then of course the setting is Star Wars. So, go figure. <laughs> this one, the stars with this one were uh, surprisingly the animation and the story. The script still wasn't all that good, but the improved scores in voice acting, cause, just because Poe was there, animation and story gave it a score of 6.3 out of 10. That's the highest score I've given any of them so far. And it ends on a rather interesting note. You can't tell if the person they rescue, okay, is this going to be a good guy or a bad guy? Or in this case, a good girl or a bad girl? I'll be back in a couple minutes to review episode 7, and then I need to get back to reacting, because I had to stop and charge some batteries. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a few minutes, so... Besides, nobody likes a clumsy Jedi. Clumsy?